a lot of people so far have commented that season three is their favorite and so i'm excited to hop into it and this one's called the wine or the whiny dragon's daughter so maybe that's that girl we saw at the end of last season i just need i need to have some answers What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Don Machi, Season 3, Episode 1, called The Wine Dragon's Daughter. I'm pretty sure I'll learn how to pronounce that this episode. But last season, we ended off with a good little Hestia heist that we needed to hurt, get her back. That was just that was just like a little side thing. We, we ended up staying, recovering, recovered at a village where the mayor ended up passing on. And it was a beautiful scene, beautiful episode, you know, him seeing Hestia using her powers to let him see his loved one, Bridget, Brigitte again. And then they had a nice little conversation between Belle and Hestia. I did have some commenters on Patreon saying that it was a little misinterpreted versus when he said, I want to be with you. Some people interpreted it as like uh, love, like he's finally confessing, con confessing his love to her, but... I took it as more of like a familial, like I'll be with you forever no matter what, as more of just like a still the same way he feels about her as always. I still feel like he loves eyes, and so I think Hestia understands that and is like, okay. It's it's kind of like what uh, Miyok and uh, Hephaestus said, you know, like he didn't he didn't run from it he didn't he confronted it but he respected her he might not love her the same way he might not reciprocate those feelings but he respected her she re she appreciated that that's all she really needed she said she would be with him forever she would always search him out all that stuff hit you know right in the heart but i'm super excited to hop into this season remember with the first and last episode of every season the full length which is normally only available on patreon is available to you guys for free so click that top link in the description if you guys like that format want to consider keeping it for the future consider checking out that patreon if you guys want to support me and patreon is not really your thing if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment it really does help me with the youtube algorithm don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new join the dapper squad click that bell so you guys always know when i'm posting and then don't forget to follow me on all my social medias twitch instagram and twitter at dapper darius thank you guys so much uh let's hop into this don machi season three episode one even before the ultimate evil fought against humanity oh, okay yeah this does look like the girl from the end of last season. Man, he sure is looking like a goddamn hero. How do you pronounce that? I didn't even have time to write that down. They're going to say that again, I'm sure, and I'll write it down. But here. All right, already off to a start. Ooh. How are they going to feel about this? I like how uh, Haruhime is in here too. Makes sense for her to join a squad, you know? 19th floor. Wow. Actually, that's exactly what he did to Liruka. <laughs> Except it's some unknown monster. Yep. And she's talking. Have we ever heard a monster speak before? Not that I can think of. Yeah. Nothing much. I was chasing her and yeah, I found her. She seemed to be scared. Yeah, you know, good point. But also, you know, Bell's Bell. He's not going to abandon her, you know. A monster on the surface. This is going to be interesting. This is definitely... Intelligence has made contact with an adventurer. I remember Fells and Uranus from the Sword of Oratoria. Hermes' is favorite, yep. Yeah, I know Hermes has been talking with Uranus a lot. That's so creepy how they just sit in a dark room with barely lit on a fucking throne like that. So even Hestia's never heard of a talking monster. That's how rare it is. And Fel said a monster imbued with intelligence. 
かい名前ベルあいやそれは僕の名前君はだったら縮めてウィーネくんでどうだああウィーン I said wine it's wean got it ウィーネでも彼女がモンスターであるウィーネウィーネ情報を集める必要があるミアハタケ以外の神やファミリアにくれぐれも余計な詮索をされないようにどんなことでもいい手がかりを探してきてくれ We need some sort of lead we can grasp onto ハフェスティスはなぜミアクタケミカズチおい聞いたか例の装備をかっぱらっていくモンスターの話武装したモンスターだ armed monster The middle floors armed monster and there's a quest for it so if it's able to steal you know and be able to use armor it has to have some sort of sentience right which is rare which would be like whiny or weena whatever her name is imagine only of living in the dungeon yeah seeing above ground that'd be crazy she has some crazy ass nails too she looks like killua I feel her though. If I just felt the sun for the first time, I'd probably want to get butt naked too. Can't blame her. Oh, this is Lily Ruka, huh? Maybe. Oh, what's her name? So I looked up her name. She was a part of the Hermes family, Lalune. Or Lalune, however they pronounced it, but I remember her. So I thought this was Lily Ruka using her magic as an elf to disguise, but maybe it's not. Maybe the other group is us think looking for. Hmm. I'm so curious. I'm so curious. Anytime they ever eat an anime, it's always that sound. You know, it's so cute. I've never had an onigiri. I've always wanted one. Ever since I played Dragon Ball Z video games when I was a kid and I used to use onigiris to like, heal up my HP, I've always wanted one. Aruhime is so adorable. Ooh, I knew them nails was crazy long. I, she did it on complete accident, but she she doesn't realize her strength. She's a monster. She's never play fought with anybody, of course. You know, it's kind of like you have. I'd say it's a pretty good reference, even though it's kind of weird to make. I would say it's kind of like you somehow you are in a situation in which you witness a mother bear. I don't know why I'm using a bear. It could be anything, a little tiger or something. You witness a mother dangerous predator die, and then you see the cub standing there, and you're like, oh, I can't let this cub die on my good conscience. So you take the cub in, you raise the cub, you try to be friendly to it. The cub doesn't know you're a human and your skin's not delicate. The cub's just either a bear, tiger, whatever you insert, you know, insert crazy animal here. But when you're play fighting with it, just having a good time, it could easily, just like a cat would, you know, bite you instead of leaving a little cat bite, it would literally like dig in your, it could pop an art, you know, it's, it's horribly dangerous, but it's not any hostility there. It's just, I think that's a pretty good reference to make. You know, I can't blame whiny at all, wiener, whatever her name is. She blames herself, obviously, but Belle knows as well. He's a very empathetic person. I would still be super careful though about just immediately going in to hug him after you just gashed his arm like that. Imagine she does the same thing on the back of his neck, just fucking rips his head off. That's obviously an owl watching over him, spying on him. Who is that? Hermes, I would guess.
Right. I think it's understandable to be. Another bath scene. Oh my lordy McLorderton. Good. I would say that is very essential. Good. <laughs> this is so interesting. This is not what I was expecting this episode to be. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah, true. I do think they're underplaying it. Yes. I'm surprised we haven't asked her any of that, those questions earlier. I wonder if it was before she had her sentience, you know, before she was actually able to think. She definitely was brutally murdering people. She was a... That is a scary, horrible dream. Ooh, that's the bag she was holding earlier, a scent bag. That's interesting, it's like a repel. The word of the client is absolute. All we can do is collect information. God damn it, Hermes is up to it again. Is Uranus the, the client or... Ikelos Familia. Kelos Familia. Alright, this might be the opening. Ooh, I assume so. <sighs> Alright, so we met Wiene. And I'm so curious uh, more about how she came into this world. About her dream, her rebirth, it seemed like. Because she said she was dark and red as if she died. And then she just keeps, keeps having this dream of her being a monster to straight killing adventurers like Belle. And then... The client. I want to know who the client is. Uranus put a heap of heap of doo doo on Hermes's plate. And the Ecolos familia. The only thing I remember in terms of the the name Ecolos is isn't Ecolos or is that something? Is that a different name? Isn't Ecolos the name of the eagle from Assassin's Creed Odyssey? Which that is obviously Greek mythology. Ecolos Assassin's Creed. Oh, it's Icaros. I was close. Damn it. But I just assumed that would be that. So I'm get. Oh, I wonder who Ecolos is. That's got to be a different familia. I want to know more about them. Obviously, the Laloon. It was good to see her. It was. A, it's been a long time since I've seen her. Um, the Elven child, who I assumed was Lily Ruka, was just a separate character. Also wondering about talking monsters as an Elven child. The opening definitely is letting me know that Eyes is going to have an issue with Bell's new. 
familia member will say and and from what it seemed like the armored the armored monster that they mentioned in this episode is not the only monster we're gonna see there's gonna be some crazy shit that goes on there's also gonna be a dude with glasses maybe a human antagonist that we can have i'm so curious about a lot of this stuff Ooh, i think i think the season's gonna it's only 12 episodes but it's gonna be fire i think it's gonna be up there i'm excited for it hopefully you guys are as well if you guys enjoyed this episode please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below in the comments if you guys are new make sure to subscribe always click that bell so you guys know when i post follow me on all the social medias at dapper darius i appreciate y'all i'll see you guys in the next episode have a good one peace out dapper squad